What if, hypothetically speaking, we could rewind the tape of our universe all the way back? Back beyond atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies. Back beyond the heat and density of the singularity. Way back beyond that, into the realm of the scientifically unknowable. Would we discover that nature is it? The whole and utter show of reality? No God, no creator? The whole thing, a total natural production. Well, the atheist believes this is what we would find. His whole worldview position is anchored upon this faith-based assumption. In fact, the atheist would have to assume the eternal existence of nature in some form or another. Because it would be absurd to believe that nature brought itself into existence, because that would require that nature existed prior to its own existence to bring itself into existence. And that's logically absurd. Try to explain that using rational arguments. Good luck with that. The atheist would expect to find a godless grounding of existence. His whole worldview position hinges upon this belief. He would expect to find nothing but nature, nature in one form or another, existing eternally as an inexplicable brute fact that exists without explanation. A complete and utter scientific mystery. No rhyme, no reason, no purpose, and without meaning. However, for those of us who believe in God, the purely naturalistic explanation is the worst explanation that has ever been offered. It's the worst explanation that has ever been put on the table. The least rational explanation. We simply reject it because it does not adequately explain and account for reality as we experience it. We are of the opinion that our experiences of rational logical reasoning, the existence of consciousness and our innate moral intuitions, coupled with the extraordinary mathematically fine-tuned complexities of our world and all of its various intricate structural formations are sufficient evidence of some kind of rational personal agency. We are simply not convinced that dumb, mindless, blind nature is a good explanation for our world and for our everyday experiences of reality. Personally, for me, a rational cause makes sense of our rational mathematical universe. A personal thinking agent is a good explanation for the phenomenon of human consciousness, and a moral lawgiver is a rational explanation for human moral intuitions, as opposed to gravity and electromagnetism being the source of our moral intuitions. Now, is it too hard to imagine that what's in our experience of reality is present in the ontology of reality, in some form? You see, the bottom line is that there are no good arguments for an atheistic explanation of reality. And, in the absence of good rational arguments for the atheistic position, belief in the existence of a rational God will continue unto the last breath of the last human being.